song. <laughs> Whoops. We need to remember to do that each time, huh? Okay. Whoops. I did it again. I forgot a song. So here we go. So we're going to make them up as we go, 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 go. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hey, look who's in the house today. We have Lexi and, of course, Trish and Evie and Lit. That was my, of course, uh, which uh, there's a little something she's going to talk about later. Okay. Um, and that is Lisa uh, here with me. And Kylie Koo, I'm so glad you made it. All right. So remember, everyone, if you um, want us to Hi, Uda. comment, ha, ha, make sure and use all of your, um, uh, put it all in caps. Okay. And hey, Uda, how are you? Hey, Eddie. Oh, hey, Tracy. And I want to, while Tracy's on here, I'm going to give a little special shout out to someone today. And that is Tracy's grandchildren here with us. Um, they have their own journal. Ooh, ooh. They are eight and nine, and they are Coco and Handon. Isn't that sweet? Hey, Julie. I'm so glad you're here. We yes, you're famous now too. Hi, Julie Parker. <laughs> Um, so today we're going to, uh, talk about how, oh, you know, how we sort through, let's put a double on here. You know how you get done with a project and you end up with all these little containers and envelopes and whatever with bits. And it's hard to move on from that stage to the next stage. Sometimes for me, if I don't stop and figure out where all these weird little things go. Um, you know, maybe there were things that you made for your journal that you didn't end up using. Um, plus, you have all kinds of other weird little things, you know, like. Um, so we're going to be putting that away while we simultaneously make something um, that can go in our journal or it can go in the next one or wherever we want to put it. Or we can just use it for storage. Are you still getting feedback? Is there feedback? Are we screaming, not screaming? I always feel like I'm screaming, but I have a, I have a camera in my forehead too. So, oh, Uda's working on her goddess journal today. Well, we're going to do a little bit of recycling and sorting while we make something. So there's a, there's a plan here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about sorting everything out. And then we're going to talk about our new project, which is going to be a quicker project. And it'll be our, I'll let you guide on the mixed media bottle or altered bottle. I think that's a lot of letters. Not sure how I want to handle that. But uh, it'll just be for, you know, a few weeks that we'll do that one. And then we were going to work on uh, something new that some of you know about. So we'll have a little chat about those things today. And if you are new here, thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I know I'll say it again because I'm a mushy girl like that. And let's welcome Lisa. You, you uh, sentence for a minute. Are you there? I'm here. <laughs> I know. I know. Did, Lexi, I said hello, right? You were the first person, I think. Yeah. Oh, hey, Diane. Um, so the very first thing I am going to get out of the way, and we're not working on this today. This will be something I bring out uh, uh, periodically anyway, But I, and I will spend some time with a gel plate. But I know you guys have seen the version that I carved with my hand, and now it is available in the PM Artist Studio shop. I have it on a pedestal here. <laughs> And that's my tree stamp. Let's get some color on that so you can see what it looks like. Um, I love it. I, it's so me. It's very sketchy. And like I said, I didn't draw this out. I just started carving with my hands. That's it. And there it is. So I hope you all like that one. And I have another one coming out. Um, I saw a picture of it uh, and it goes with this very soon as well. And we will play with this another day. Um, they did 
send me there's their information it's pmartistudio.com if you want to go to the um go to the website uh they have a live stream uh every um sunday monday tuesday and thursday uh that you can experience and go make some friends and hang out have some fun um and they do a lot of gel gel printing so they have lots of stamps and stencils in their shop if you're new um check it out so they sent me these goodies as well and this fun little fun teeny tiny little inchy stencil isn't that cute okay so i'm gonna put these back in here and take this away i'm gonna put it back in the envelope actually there we go there we go all right so i have today um i'm gonna make some envelopes and um envelopes and bags out of recycling for the cleanup process how many of you have the same problem where you end up with bins and bins of things and when you go to move on then you know it happens every project and you get more and more crowded i think that happens to a lot of us <laughs> diane just discovered containers in her a uh, craft, I'm going to craft room full of carving materials used to do it years ago. Oh, are you, are you cold? Oh, thanks, Eddie. Oh, all the time. Yeah. I feel like I'm overwhelmed right now because I keep putting, I keep making a new bin for all these projects. And then I end up not putting it all away because I feel like, oh, well, what if I want to go work on that project again? And I need that tiny little scrap, right? It, it's it's true um i mean i think we all wonder are we going to need that again do i need to keep those scraps together or what do i do with all these weird little things so right now what i've done and this is a temporary thing i've got this it's a piece of styrofoam that i'm going to boxes in here in different sizes and they're probably not going to stay in in these i have places to put these i just need to be able to sort out into this so like here i have a little label on here to tell me that this is for the tags that are done um you know tags and bands and things like that although belly bands probably could just go right there because i usually keep those ones on a ring um this one is for the ones like we made the master board not quite done i don't know where lisa went Oh, there she's coming back in. Uh, some that are not quite done. Um, there's some pockets in here that I had started and didn't use. And I have some little bags. And it says blanks. Um, or or it should be starter blanks. And then here I have some textures. I'm going to, I have a whole cart full of textured stuff. Um, and then I have this one full of the little bits of texture that were interesting this is a finished um with like the tabs and the tiny tiny stuff that is done remember from the board oh i have a little fabric pocket in here that doesn't even go in there you end up with all kinds of weird stuff though and these ones are not done um and that doesn't go in there but so not done not done and this is just the general idea. Um, I have one for circles here. I'm going to put all the circles in there. And what I'll do when I get some weird scraps, I will uh, punch circles or I will cut a tag or I will put it in my rip strip box, which you guys know about. Let's get Lisa on. Add to stage. There she is. I am here. I I was getting feedback from 150 different places, and oh, so okay, I, was, I could not figure out which device was doing it. So I had to kind of see if I could make that situation better. So hopefully this is better. Yes, good. I didn't hear the feedback, but you did. So that's, that's well, I, thing. I was hearing it, and I thought, okay, if I'm hearing it, somebody else is hearing it too. So Diane's de-stashing for a move, definitely weird stuff in bot. And we end up with these collections of all kinds of weird things. And for me, I like a tray, uh, like the paper bins, and I ended up stacking them on top of each other. And then I also have the 12 by 12 containers, but I'm trying to get 
to a point where when I'm done with a large project like this, I'm going to stop and I'm going to put the stuff away because leaving it out, out just it, it's just piling up too high and it's overwhelming. It's time. And I want to flip my room. I can't do that if I have all these weird bins. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I, there are some random things that I can keep in here. And these are the kind of things that I'll probably keep on my desk. Um, you know, things I want to use up. Let's take that piece out because maybe I'll use it. So that's the plan. And you guys know I have a rip strip box um, that I put all the unfinished strips in that I can go to and play with whenever I want. So I may even pull out one of those today and use some of these little bits on it. So I'm going to put this on my cart so it sits on my cart. I do still keep, by the way, uh, I have a, a large tea cart behind me. And I do keep various little scraps and stuff on there, but it's a random mix of sorted things. Like I have one tray that's got gel printed tissue paper, one tray that's got gel prints and one that has small torn gel prints. Um, and those are what I might sort through when I'm doing any project. They're not specific to a project. I think you're having high humidity. Oh, unmounting the wood mounted stamps. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a lot of those and I'm, I'm, I am lucky about that. Yeah. It's not hot here either. Oh, that's, that's definitely nothing fun. No. Uh, 102 degrees. Woo! That is terrible. Okay. So I've got to figure out where, you know, just all these weird little things go. And the other thing that, that is hot. I wanted to share this. This is off of a Trader Joe's bag and I put them all in one large Ziploc bag because I just cut it up the other day. I thought it was great. It says, is framing the bag and hanging it on the wall reusing or recycling? Doesn't that go with what we do? <laughs> hey, Marguerite. <laughs> That's, it's so true. Is it, it, gluing it, it all into a book or painting over it? Hi, Marguerite. Uh, reusing or recycling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's pretty great. I, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna put this on a on a my corkboard here in the wall in the room. And then look at these for the Valentine that I'm gonna make Bill. Because he likes to fly. They're so cool. So that was why I saved those. So one thing I did when I started cleaning up this mess, I gotta show you. I like the plane. I took this uh, piece of packaging that I had been writing on because it was white and I started gluing some of my scraps to that. So this is one way you can use up those scraps. And I used packaging that was a little slicky. So I did use a little sandpaper on it, but maybe miss the edges. And that can be used for whatever. I can cut it up and use it for tags. I could make a book cover. I could do anything with it really. Um, but it's handy and ready to go. And it would be a good little, like a sketchbook art journal. It's a good fun size it would be good for my round poles. I like it anyway. Um, so that's going in a big me that I have set up for this. Where did it go? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. There it is. And that is larger pieces that are finished or are ready to pull from for projects. And here I have an envelope. I was cleaning off a gel plate and I've got this envelope that I did this morning. And I'm saying that that, that is a, um, yes, envelopes. Yes. And I've got also um, this paper, which is a bag from the pharmacy that I brought up that I, I cut the bottom off. And I just kind of tapped it on my gel plate with some different colors that I liked. And I, it's because I needed to clean it off. I'm, I haven't played on my gel plate in ages. Um, that was fun. Um, so what I did here was I made a little swivel with, with, I glued a bunch of those round. And I'm also using a, a You've got one of the envelopes too. Yeah, it works better if you cut the bottom off, open it up, 
um, and reconstruct it. And it actually feels like carnival paper, I think, like the good tissue, you know. Um, but I really, I like it because it's now a pocket. Let's move this. It is a it's, pocket. I know they're very um, sturdy. Um, rippy scraps. All I did was glue those together. Um, and then it's got this that can swivel around and close it. Hi, Dania. Hey, hey Dania. Dania. Crafting Lodge. Welcome. Yes. Hey, Sarah. Um, lovely uh, Crafting Lodge. Tell us your name. We would love to know if you'd like. I mean, you don't have to. We can call you lovely. We'd be happy to. <laughs> This has a really cool sound, this one. Um, and I don't know what's going to go in it, but I made it with scraps <laughs> off my desk, uh, plus really the good. paper. And I think it's kind of fun, and it's a good use for those scraps. And it's uh, it's it feels cool. It does. Um, and, and having that swivel is great. Jacqueline, um, lovely crafting lodge is, is our new friend Jacqueline. Oh, good. Oh, okay. We should write that down. Uh, we'll try to remember. You know, if I write something down, I just lose the paper. But I'm going to write it down, and then maybe I'll remember. I did. I did. I wrote it. Oh, I you got it? it? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's you then. All right. So, um, with this, all I did was... I yeah, um, Sharon, should I tell them what's wrong with me? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Tell them. So if I sound freaky, goofy, or anything like that, um, I, I've had a hefty dose of prednisone earlier in the week. And so um, it, she was up for 40 hours in ways <laughs> unpredicted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was Some up. Some of them, though, are good because I've been a very, very good at cleaning. Oh, I wish. Prednisone affects me, too. I, I, uh, I don't, I can't take it. I have like an allergic reaction almost. So I can't imagine cleaning, but that's awesome for you. Yeah. So this, all I did the here. First time for me in this kind of way. <laughs> um, so here I One thing I want to say before I, I move on, I'm going to watch share and what she's doing and watching the chat as well. But um, she's already done a process on her uh, prescription bag, but I have not. And I do love using them. Sometimes I will sew them, but I do find that if I'm going to use them for storage, that I love to have this part glued so that I do not lose parts. And then I'm going to just put some tissue paper on it while, while we're working through today. So here I masked out the window and I had this on my gel plate for so long. I cannot even, I don't even remember how long ago I had the, the triangles on or the diamonds on there. Um, but I picked it up and it got most of it up, but it's nice and chippy and I don't know. I really like it, but doing that to cover it gave me a cool painty painterly border. And then I've got this card when I'm done. Hi, Evie. Hey, Evie. I said hi earlier, but you weren't in chat yet. But I knew you were I, here. I should be along, so, but I, I, I've been trying to watch. There I, we I go. I did say hello to my Carolina girls. we got to stick together. <laughs> then I'm going to cut that bit off. And I'm going to watch me. I'm... I need a gold star for throwing this away right here. Gold star. I'm going to turn the light down a little bit. There we go. Gold stars. So with the rest of this, I think what I'm going to do. Run, run. Don't let I'll that put, trash can trace you down. And bring don't it let what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so we were calling her Sybil earlier in the week. Oh, my God. Sybil. For real. Oh my, oh, oh. 
I called myself Sybil and there were so many different personalities that I didn't know who they were, didn't recognize them, but they were kind of frightening. <laughs> so I'm going to put a piece of paper down in here and it's probably just going to be one of these. If I can get it to, sure, why not? Let's see what it looks like. Because I've got this paper bag sitting here. This was and then a I'm going to take some of these paper my daughter had in a Christmas gift, and she had made all this real pretty stuff on the outside. So I, I decided that it needed to be saved. Oh, Jerry Sorry, Parker, I have a pen please in my don't mouth. take it personally. Sybil was a movie back in the probably 70s or 80s in the United States. And um, it was someone with multiple personalities. Yeah, it was It was uh, Sally Field. She won it was Sally a famous Field and movie it was here. Played. It's a beautiful name. Love Sybil Shepherd. All right, so I'm going to take this and decide what I want to do with the rest of it. But I did slide that bag down in there, and there's just glue under under there. Um, and then I think I'll take my, and I know I haven't sorted anything yet, but I'll get there. <laughs> I swear I will. <laughs> See, this is how we clean our desk and put it off, don't we, guys? <laughs> we do. We put it off. <laughs> When I say I went upstairs to clean my desk and ended up making this, I know I've made lots of posts doing that. Um, you guys have seen them. I know you've all done it. Julie, I don't know if you have. You're more organized than some of us. All right. And then I think I'm going to actually use my... You can stamp on these clear windows if you have um permanent ink those are fun just to give it like some text or something but i think what i'm going to do here is take some regular ink and that and figure out what goes over that hi marta so i've got this bin right here i'm going to put that other one on the floor behind me i had it on my cart so that as i'm sorting through this i can um, sort of throw them in the place that they go. And I've got all this stuff here and I'm making myself sort through it. I'm not leaving anything in the basket. See that? That means something's going to go in the trash, hopefully. Hey, Marta. <laughs> Something will go in my, you know, like in each place that they go. Maybe that's a good thing to put on there. It's a piece of brown paper. Trash. Ooh, I think this goes on here because of the shape. And maybe I could even just use some of this old book page and cover. Trash. I mean, trash. There's a corner. I don't oh, know how trash. it's in there. He's buying a trash in her bin. I am. I am not shocked. Are it's, you? It's not rubbish. It's real trash. It's actually trash, yes. But those pieces are so tiny. Come on. It's so hard, though. You know it is. It's so hard to, I'm throwing to it let away. go of, of those little pieces, the jewels. Piece. We, we know they they are. are. They're like little jewels. Okay, and these, are, these can all go. That's something else. And it goes in a bin of little bits of weird stuff. I actually have a 12 by 12 bin that says weird stuff or weird textures on it. Thank um, you for translating, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Julie is say? more organized than most of us. Yes, yes, she is. I do have some of that I can put on there. Oh, there we go. That matches. I just want to cover the stamped area. This is a little too polished, so maybe that goes elsewhere. But I'm just going to do it. So, having an hey, empty bin. You know we need all the help we can get. What's that? I, I said, Eddie said, anytime he could help you, like translate or, you know, clarify. <laughs> do, do the best you can, yeah. <laughs> and, and I said, you know, uh, you know, we can always use help. So, I also I, have I, some I, other weird well, stuff here. So, I'm going to grab another piece. Let's do this. 
Yes, I could not have created from stuff on my desk today because my desk was truly clean. I started with a clean slate this morning. I also have Ziploc baggies and all kinds of it other was a good feeling. Okay. Short lived, but good feeling. This is the other thing I want to do on the side because I can keep this here and just glue things to it like these as I find them. You know, maybe I don't want to throw them away. Maybe they're interesting. Um, maybe not. But it's a great option to, and I know you guys won't see it over here on the side, but uh, trust me, I'm doing it. And let me see. I have a tray next to me with all these little bits on it that, you know, I'm, I'm going to here. And that's, you know, where it's coming from. I, I think that when you start purging things, sometimes, you know, you, I think that you, when you look at one thing at a certain point in time, I think you may see that it still has value. But I think that, for instance, I've been going back and looking at some of the things that I made really early on when I started doing the journal things. And I, I look at it and I'm like, Ugh. you know, I've done I, that I too. pages I like, but, you know, I see a lot of things that I really don't think I'd use again. So I've been cutting them out. The ones I like, I cut out. If I look at it and I say, you know, Ugh. that just doesn't feel yeah. good anymore. I let it go. Yeah, I think that's good. great. That's a great way to do that. And we do find that, you know, things that we did two years ago, we don't like anymore because our tastes also change. This is more of a die cut, but that is a bag that I keep. I keep a bunch of these clear envelopes, these kind. This is just the only one I have like that, but I keep them standing up, slid into a cubby above my desk. And then I um, keep things like this in it. So you know, these are things that I have out all the time and maybe I'll even use one on this folder over here, but for now, that's fine. This embossed thing of my, my trees on the book page. I think that's going on the folder. These are going to go on the folder and I'm just setting them off to the side. That can go in the garbage. I love these old corners. Um, I don't use them enough and I need to remember to use them. So that means that they probably should, I should put one in a dish on my desk so I can remember, but that's how we end up with all those random dishes too. But I do need to remember. This is cool, but I mean, I could put it over a window. I'm just going to do it. I'm just doing it. Got all this weird stuff. You know, Julie, you remember when Julie went through, had that big bin that was really starting to kind of annoy her and she ended up going through it. Yeah. She, she is saying that um, she went through it. She, you know, worked through the process and she has not regretted it. You know, she's not, you know, yeah, it makes us feel better. Thought, oh, I wish I hadn't of, you know, it seems like it, it was a very good move for her. And Diane is saying, you know, that it is starting to, it's it's good to be able to make some decisions and know you know that that, that you're going to be okay. I mean, if you let something go and that's the hard part right there, I think. You hadn't, I think that you know we've got so many different things that we can substitute. But it's hard not to feel sentimental about. Oh, I really like this. I remember when I painted this little scrap here off of this big master board or whatever, or I've I, this was one of my favorite papers and I only had this corner left. Having a couple things in front of you that you can put them on while you're sorting makes you feel like, okay, I used it. It's good. I used it. Um, or punch it into circles and stick it in a bag and then you can use them as washers, you know? Um, I definitely one. agree. Yeah. So it, it's just more about um, getting them sorted onto something or in a, a proper bin. So they have to go in one of those four places, the trash, one of the perfect bins for it, or on my uh, project that I'm working on. One or the other, because I have a pocket, 
a, a window pocket and I have a folder. Folders are nice. Uh, manila folders. You can cut them up. You can use them as book covers. You can use them as tags. You can also use them as folders. So they can stack and you can label them, you know, like it's, it's nice to do a folder. They're multi-use, I think. Here's more of these. Where did I just put the circles? Right here. So in the end, I might put like that one has some texture on it. So I'll throw that over there. This what says, size are the circles, Sharon? Five, follow your joy. What size are they? Yeah. I, I have two sizes of these that I found secondhand <clears throat> or bought secondhand, secondhand online. Um, and this is a one inch and this is a an inch and a half, I think. So a one and a two and a half. Okay. Uh, uh, inch, inch and a half. Hold on. Let me wrong right there. Uh, yeah. Inch and a half. Oh, Kylie trash. I'll tell you a funny story. Um, and one. my first trip to the UK, I was in the hotel in the conference room. We were, you know, starting to get set up for the conference and we had all this rubbish <laughs> that needed to be discarded and so the lady come in and i said um excuse me do you have a trash can and she looked at me like i had three eyes <laughs> <laughs> wait are you talking about the rubbish bin i said well is that where you put like paper that you don't want anymore and she said yes she said oh it's right here and i looked and it's about the size of a, a popcorn bucket <laughs> And she said, oh, um, you know, we have to handle it a certain way. So that anything that is rubbish, you put over here in the corner and it's our job to take care of it. And I said, oh, I like this. I said, they don't do that in America. They just don't. Yeah, but you were flying home to America. So that had to make it difficult to to give it our choices, right? And say, oh, I can't take this and I can't take that. I mean, you know. <laughs> no, I didn't bring stuff home She's though. Going to Scotland um, again in June. I did bring stuff home, but it it it, it has been used. <laughs> well, and if you're doing a scrapbook from your from your trip, that's great too. Kylie, she's going in June again for another convention. Yes, so, I will be uh, in Scotland be in June um, if everything goes as planned. And it's going to be good trash too, because I the know flights are uh, quite a bit. They're, they're more expensive than they were when we, when we flew last year. So we're you know, trying to see if we can so figure out much, when the best rates are right now. How much is a uh, suitcase? I'm wondering if it's cheaper than a box to ship and we can't just uh, send you with an extra suitcase. Exactly, Eddie. A waste paper basket versus the bin. And, and like here it, where I live, if you say something about the bin, people think you're going to the thrift store. There's really? a thrift store called the bin. <laughs> well, that's fun. Okay. So then I still have these little pieces I have to find a place for. This has, is really cool. Yeah. Because it has some uh, gold and uh, it's the edge from something I painted, but I'm going to throw it away. I'm so proud of myself. It's funny once you throw something away too, how um, easy it is. Easy, it gets easier each time, right? And then it makes you feel inspired, and you're ready to go clean a closet or something. <laughs> I, I think that's me. <laughs> so I also have these things. These I I make all these. Okay, raise your hand if you do a project and make a bunch of extra bits. And end up with stuff you didn't use. Because I think we all do that. I, I always have stuff left over. Yeah. Always. But I, I do like the idea of having, you know, <laughs> when you're going through things, I do like the idea of having the um, a paper or something that you can attach it to and just carry it on to another like whole new project. Kylie said she could not have thrown that bit away. <laughs> that piece of paper that I just chucked out, that was the edge of something. 
I, I love it. I'm, I'm glad it's not just, I mean, it's all of us, I think. It's the nature of the projects we do. I, I do know that. Um, because we're all about the recycling and the, um, and the grungy. I think it is the nature of what we do. Because yeah. we want to do things. Um, we want to use the resources that we have. We don't want right. to be wasteful. We want to be mindful that, you know, if we want to have like, you know, nice things in, in our craft supplies, that sometimes it means that we have to use things that aren't typically craft supplies. I don't know what to do with this. This is a tattoo. Tattoos are absolutely fabulous on your work. Um, these were like the hand tattoos, the temporary tattoos. They, you have to seal them afterwards so they don't wear off, but they create the most magnificent marks over your work. And you just do it like you would do a tattoo, you know, with a, with a baby wipe. Back of it wet, you know. You can also Sarah, use a uh, plastic. Evie said that she was watching Gail, Gail Agusta, Gail A. Yeah. And um, she threw away something and there was like a, you know, everybody was in shock. Like, oh, no, no, you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. So this, I just have some random 3D bits in. This will get this will get further sorted out later. I have one of those. It looks like a typeset box on my um, uh, the top of my tea cart, and it's only so deep. And then I have a piece of plexiglass over it, so I can put things on it, but I can see what's down inside. And these have a place down there. Um, I have some handmade clay beads. Those will go elsewhere. This is. You know, so there sometimes there are bins that need further sorted, but there's a reason they're all together and I'll just pop around my room and pull those out. <clears throat> For now, they're fine. You know, oh, I know this and this is cool. Temporary I, tattoos I can be there. found like in children's um, this is like party favors for children. Amazon. That on Amazon. Type of thing. You can buy them very inexpensively on Amazon, uh, TMU, you know, places like that. You're going to find them. This goes with the circles. I'm going to glue this down. Got this little number. Just, it fits there. It matches. I'm using it. I also save little things like this and I punch a hole in them and I do have a box that these go in um, and I use them like with a dangle or this one is made out of canvas and it has a goddess, um, but they're great for, and this is a super textured piece. This is one of the first nail, I, art, first nail texture. art stuff too, Sharon. Oh yeah. Yeah. I actually got this stuff, which is the spider gel to work with my gold leaf. Um, I haven't played with it yet, but I tried it with the embossing powder and it worked. It's super sticky and stays in strings. So this actually has a place. Um, and I'm gonna grab that box real quick. Hold on, it's right here. I did, Diane, I didn't know until recently that you could actually seal um, the temporary tattoos on and, this one. and use them. So, you know, if, if I hadn't heard that earlier in the week or saw that somebody talking about that, I would have been shocked today. I would have been like, what? Really? How did yeah. I not know that? I've yeah. used them for a long time. I just always lose them. I, I, I can't seem to keep my hands on them. Um, so that's the box the that I, is, you know, they don't let me out of the house often. So, you know, I might've missed some of these things. <laughs> you know, that's they have all kinds of cool, like that's what my mother-in-law would say. <laughs> they have cool adult ones too. So these I'm actually going to put in here because I have to make a decision about these. So these are the going to be the undecided bits. I do have some fabric and some ribbon and some flowers, and I'm just going to grab all those up in a handful and throw those behind me in the ribbon bin. <laughs> one of the ribbon bins. I actually got one of those. Um, I don't know what to do with these guys now. I have these weird things happening. Um, there's a sticker. We know where the stickers go. 
There's another die cut, and that can go on my collage. And what if I used this on a tag? Hey, what do you think about our girl over here? She's rocking out this sorting. Well, I'm trying. Uh, yeah, we'll I know. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I'm going to throw that away. So, uh, so like, sometimes oh, we'll, we'll get on here. the phone with each other, you know, and we will talk while we clean. And it makes it so much more fun. So, you know, it if does. you're having problems sorting through your craft supplies, phone Get a, a friend. cleaning buddy. Yeah. Call a friend. I've done that with Susan as well. Um, and like I said, having these, because we feel like, we already feel like we want to stop and do a project when we go through these things. So if you have a couple things that you can do, I mean, the, the, the folder I won't glue until after, but I'm collecting the bits over here to go on top of it. And it's just going to be a few pieces. This is not going to be a whole tray. That's giving me the opportunity to not feel like I've, I've uh, cheated myself out of doing something fun while I was sorting, you know? Oh, Julie, so it's funny we should here. talk about those, uh, those jewels and things that people put on their faces. Um, my daughter, sometimes if she's going to go have fun, she will put like rhinestones on her face with her makeup. And it's always really cute, but they always end up in my washer machine or my dryer. And so I have started bringing <laughs> them up to the craft room thinking, okay, they, they, they're not ready to go yet. They need to be used. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah. And I do that with screws that I f and and little bolts from Bill's pockets from his work that I find in the dryer. That is my thing that I do. Here's another weird. It's die cut. It is embossed. It is uh, collaged. It is painted on, and it's the out outer edge of something. So I'm trying to figure out um, what can I do with this? Would it make a cool frame? And where the heck does it go? Because it's a little bit of everything. So this is going to go in that bin of things I don't know what to do with. And I do have one that has skeletons like this in it. So maybe, I mean, I feel like they're a little small, but maybe this is something interesting. Thing skeletons, that, um, you know, just um, treasure direct ship bottles. Hmm. Pirates, pirate what? You said um, skulls, right? So, no, I was talking about the um, these kind of skeletons. These are that's what I call oh, these. Oh, skeletons things. from stencils, not skeletons like skeletons. Uh, skeleton. skeletons. Die cut skeletons. You know, it's okay. like the outer edges from. Don't mind and I don't it. know why I've always always called them that. I, I was shook up. I'll tell you, I was, you know, because Eddie's talking about the cling, cling, cling in my dryer. <laughs> the cling in your dryer? Yeah, the things that show up in my dryer. Oh, oh, yeah. Eddie, you can't talk yeah. about my, you can't talk about my dryer because yeah. ever since, um, so I I've heard Mariah and P talking about the wool dryer balls. I had to have some. Uh, and now I have this problem. That. Who, who, who took my balls? Because <laughs> who took her balls? Who took my balls? Already. Okay. So the first load I dried, you know, I didn't know I had to look for these things that they were going to mysteriously disappear. So, um, you know, the little balls did their job. It dried fast. It was nice. I thought, oh, this is cool. But um, one out of the six went missing. Okay. You know, how did that happen? I fold the clothes. I never realized, you know, what was going on that, you know, I don't know where my ball went. My ball was missing. <laughs> About three weeks later, my husband <laughs> is getting dressed and um, he put on a pair of sweatpants Oh and yeah. and out, out of the bottom of the elastic in the leg pops up one of these balls. <laughs> he laughing, he said, um, this is a, have you lost a ball? I said, have you lost no, your balls? Lost two. <laughs> He's walked <down> one. <laughs> Kyla said they go up sleeves and everything. But now and it's like a game. Laughing. You know, I go in there and I, the first thing I want to do is I want to find my balls. I want to make sure before the laundry leaves the dryer that my balls are accounted for. <laughs> oh, those dryer balls. Yes, yeah, I love yes. them though. 
So I want to put this under. I do love them. Right there, I think. Yeah, the, the grinder does get attached to those. But but I've been doing so much better. I haven't lost any in a long time. So I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself. You know, that I've been I've wanting to get those. Ripped, that I have, I have come up a level, you know, with my laundry and my balls. Do they actually keep your, um, I don't like it. Do they actually keep, I'm throwing it away. I've, I've carried that around for long enough. Throwing it away. They keep the, the, uh, lint, uh, the static off your clothes? Though? They keep the static out pretty good. But now that it's gotten so, so cold, um, they're struggling. And Mariah said I need to recharge them. So I got to figure out what I... You know what how i recharge them but i i do like them i mean it sure is a lot better than you know using a lot of chemicals because from what i understand you know a lot of the chemicals that they're using in dryer sheets are not good for us anyway so well i just started using the um the the laundry sheets the soap sheets that just dissolve yeah, I like the idea of not using the plastic. Um, it makes me happy. So it really works out for me um, with less guilt. That's what it's about. It's about less guilt. And I know my number's probably not going to show and I'm okay. We'll see. Boy, I would honestly, in all honesty, if I could have a clothesline in my neighborhood... I would have a clothesline. Uh, I would hang my clothes out and then there would be no need for, you know, such things, but um, it's not allowed. And so really, I talk, no, a weird homeowners okay. association. It's one of those things back in the seventies where they thought it was not cool. You know, to hang clothes out. Because okay. Well, I'd be contesting that at this point because with, global warming and all the things happening in our world. I think it's a good thing to want to do, to go back to those things. I mean, not, I mean, if you want to, I don't want to, but if you want to, you should be able to. And I think that's just a bunch of, well, I, I, I can appreciate you know, it. I mean, I used to love to be at my mother-in-law's house and get to hang laundry out because um, here, yeah, she, she would, um, she, she wouldn't wash clothes if she couldn't hang her clothes out. Um, matter of fact, a dryer would last her. Her, the, her last dryer lasted probably 30 ah. years. Man, we can burn one up in 10 easily. Well, they used to make so, things better. That's the yeah, true. deal. They, I mean, everything was made better. I'm just kind of going to go. Yeah, Kylie, uh, I'm with you. I mean, if I could hang things out, I would. I'm oh, I Julie don't. Parker, a, a home homeowners association in our area are basically um it's a you know I live in a neighborhood. My neighborhood has um a set of of uh contracts basically that say what we can and cannot do. They don't have those in Australia in our um neighborhood. Uh one of the it does have its benefits, but it has its downfalls as well. But you know, it keeps, you know, it, it kind of keeps like the houses being built kind of on the same playing field as far as size and and such. But, you know, you still have to, um, you know, you're you're bound by, them. you know, whether you like them or don't like them. You know, you you have to pay your dues. Oh, you have to follow the rules. So. Yes, Diane Bell, laundry that's done outside smells so good. I think it's too crispy. We all need fresh air. We all need fresh <laughs> air like coming into our homes. I don't like to use a liquid fabric softener, so my clothes come out crispy, and I don't like it. Hey, I, I don't, I don't like the way. power and smells. I like the and, smells of laundry. Unfortunately, they are not good for the environment, but I mean, we're still doing it. Uh, I'd if I can cut out the plastic waste though, it makes me happy. And I know I probably well, shouldn't be using this card can. there, but I'm for some reason feel like it needs to go in another one, like on an opposite page or something. And who knows what I'm going to do with this, right? Maybe it's going to go hey, in my Eddie, new service. Those journal. are the best kind, the old ones. 
So um, let's talk about the project we have coming yes. up. Yes, we? we talk about projects. Yes, let's do that. Um, have you guys enjoyed having the free kit and going through the going through the process together with this junky art book? I'm I'm curious how everybody's feeling about that. Um, I know we had a lot of participation this time, and Lisa has uh, been searching for images for us for a little while now. And she actually is going to be in charge of creating that for us this time. Um, my my friend in the UK did it last time, but Lisa's going to take care of us this time with that. And yes. um, what I'm trying to do is actually I'm, I'm using Pinterest and I will make sure that you have the information to get to it. That way, um, anything that I've searched out, you know, that's with our theme you can um, just go in there and you can see what suits you. Um, you know, I will be happy to provide you with some digitals. And it will be free, of and course. It will be like a new thing one. for me, but I have been successful um, on three different occasions now with making digitals. Um, and no one's seen them. They're, they're going to be a big surprise. But anyway, um, yeah, Yay. I'm trying to, to make it to where it's easy. If you're working and you don't have a lot of time, um, you can just go to yeah. that that place on um, Pinterest under my name and you'll be able to find anything that I found even close or even linked to, you know, what we're talking about as far as our theme. I'm going to do something crazy here. You know, no, I'm not feeling like a feel when you play. Fridge. I've thing. never heard of a kerosene fridge. That's interesting. I haven't either. But you know how you feel guilty when you when you um, play and don't clean when you were planning on it, or you feel horrible <laughs> when you had the opportunity to play and instead you cleaned. This is like the best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. Have I missed any hellos? It's the best I of both in. worlds. It is. it is. It is a reward. It is a reward. You get to play right. with the glue if you clean out your bins. While you do it. While you, you do, do it. While you do it. That's the deal. <laughs> right? <laughs> And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I, I, I took the backs off of the Christmas cards, you know, the ones that I thought, okay, well, this is a nice weight of card. So um, that's what I've been putting that uh, napkin on while my prescription bag was doing its little thing on the other side. So now I can flip it over and get my other side done. Oh, Lexi, you're so sweet. And you're right. We do walk through our lives feeling guilty, don't we? We we don't, and we don't have to. We don't have to feel bad. It, you it know, becomes we, a habit, but I we, think. But there is a thing such as balance. You know, it's good to find balance in in a process. Uh oh, we lost her sound a minute. Is Eddie making funnies? have to look up Margalo because that is that's a new one on me there did I miss Margalo yeah Margalo's here um oh, she was oh, talking hey. about her HOA yeah my husband you know that's one of the things when we move out of this neighborhood we do not plan on moving into another neighborhood with HOA I do like my bums you're you're right I like but the, bums. the downside of that is you know somebody could build a <laughs> A cardboard check next door. You know, you, you just don't know. I wouldn't like an HOA, I think. I need to find. Okay, guys, where did I set down? There it is. <laughs> I, was, I was depending on you. Hey, Margolo, I was Ooh, thinking God, about you the other day. Good. I'll take some too. What's no, that? No, I really would like some New Yorkshire tea is what I'd like. That's what I'll have when I go downstairs. I've been drinking lots of kava tea. Um, in the evening, I'll have a double bag 
or I'll have a bag of that with some green, some decaf green. Yeah. Um, I love it. Some good stuff. I'm going to put her on there. And all I'm doing is cleaning up because she was already cut out. I, I That wasn't on, you know, like, you're saying I love my bums. And I do. I am a, I am a big bottomed girl, but <laughs> I'm only doing it because she was already cut out and she didn't fit right. So there we go. Uh, and the glue. And I've lost it. There it is. She, she needs to share. She needs um, to share with me. What? The big butt? Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Apparently, I got in one line twice and got left out of the other. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah. It's like, uh, I must not have been paying attention. That's what my mom said. Yeah, us too. She felt pretty certain that that probably was the most likely you know, contributing factor there. So that's got to dry. but uh, And then I'll trim it up a little bit more and ink around the edges. And it's a nice change. And it, it's just going to go in the bin with the finished cards. I'm not putting that in my journal because I've already used this image a couple times in my journal and I don't need to put another one in there, but it'll be nice in something else or as an ATC for a friend. And it's on Ooh, an old card. Oh, gray. Hmm, that sounds good. Okay. So I need to do something with these. And wouldn't this be great behind her head? Look at that. And maybe it just goes on there. Maybe, maybe not, uh, or maybe I'll put Hi, it on Jamie. something else. I'm gonna set it Welcome. here. We're just hanging out. We are oh, cleaning up some, some of our leftover scraps and trying to make sure that we start the year off fresh and are ready for new projects. So this was just something I was that was left over that I filled in with some crackle and then I went over it with, gosh, with some ink. And to see if the crackles showed up and they did. Um, but I, I mean, do I throw it away? Where do I put it? What happens to the, um, in with the little textures? It goes in here with the little textures. Ooh. There we go. You know what? I think, I think we should do a thing like These are where canvas. You throw it up and see whether it can stay or go. Oh, we could do that. Yeah, oh, like I think everybody like, will raise not their sure. hand. You day. throw it up, and if it falls to the right, oh, <laughs> it can stay. If it falls to the left, it's out of here, loser. I thought you were saying have them decide um, if it stays or if it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have this bit, and this sits in on a little shelf on my desk. And it has all the smaller strips in it um, that I thought were interesting. And I do go to this and make little things. So it's, they're too small for a ripped strip. They have often texture. Um, what is that doing in there? I have yeah, no idea that, that I'm going to put it in there. Um, it, it went in with the little bits. Anyway, uh, I have a couple things here I'm going to stick in there. I have a, this I'm keeping on my desk because I do love to use those. That is a piece of washi tape. That is cool. And this is on cork. Oh, Margla said she was stuck at home for six or seven days because of the snow and the ice. Margla, I would I would love to have some snow. Um, just come on, on over. I mean, I would be very grateful. Margalo's up a little higher than we are. We didn't get any snow, Margalo. And we're just down the road and we didn't get snow. But yeah, I know. Mean, well, I, 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 I realize that. We, got, we did get a skiff. There was a skiff. Um, the other girl that I have cut out that's sitting here is that. And then I have these bits of washi tape. I'm going to throw this one in with my folder project over here. So it's on there. And when I'm done, I will be able to do that. Um, let's see. I have a couple butterflies here and some flowers. Those are stickers or die cuts. And I have a place to put those. I'm so proud of myself. Look at me. I'm proud of you too. Way. Huh? I'm proud. <laughs> You're making mama proud. Putting stuff away um, while I have fun. All right. Let me see here. So my butterflies go in so, here. So this week I um, you know, I, I did get a, a hefty dose of prednisone, and it kept me up for like forty plus hours. So during that time, I harvested 
um, a bunch of magazines. Um, and I have got this big Amazon pack envelope full that's going to be sorted out. And I will probably take that with me on Monday. I've got my daughter has to have some uh, a medical procedure done on Monday. And I will probably take that with me. But one of the things I want to do is take some of these bags that I'm using, like my pharmacy bag. Because when I stand them up, you know, I can put like a whole strips of or quotes and things like that. So I'm thinking that that I will take some of that. The girls, the nurses are so funny. They always come in and say, "What are you doing today, Miss Mingus?" And, and I and I crack up because the last time they came in, they said, "Wait, you're just gonna watch videos today? How boring is that?" <laughs> I do not have. Time. They want to play. I, I did not feel like. You know, packing a bag basically because we're usually there for three to four hours. But I just decided yeah. I was going to watch movies. I was going to be lazy and watch movies. <laughs> but I've made all kinds of little things while I was sitting there. But you know, I hate to take my glue because I always think if I steal my glue in their office, you know, the surgical procedure room. Oh, with me, so. yeah, it's kind of stinky, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, in there. I've been doing like um, I'll take pieces of fabric and maybe do like a little slow stitch something or, you know, I'll take strips of scraps and make like something I can add on, you know, to a journal page or something like that. And it's fun. So uh, would you like to. Oh, Diane, that's right. You are close to. Um, uh, she said they got snow as well. Yeah, we we got like the little skiff and then we've had ice we had a pipe break actually it is funny how choosy the weather can be oh fabric yo-yos are great i have a bunch of those in a bag from years ago years ago and i've used them randomly in like flowers and stuff okay that's not all my bin yes that's i, I got yo-yos my mother left me a lifetime supply god rest her soul <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. She did. She left me a lifetime supply and I've sent them to people all over the place. And, and it's like, they just keep multiplying. I'm going to just put that in there. So you, you can never, uh, you never know. You just never know about some things. Use them for flowers. Oh, I hope your plants will be okay. I, I'm partial to plant babies. That. That, that is one of the things that, um, I have a natural talent for is I do have a green thumb specifically well, more, more to the point, you know, I grow things in the house. I do grow things outside as well, but you know, if, 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 if you've got a plant that's dying and you bring it to my house, it'll be okay. I rehab. I am, I'm not green thumbed. I'm learning to be, and I do have quite a few plants, but I've, you know, get, gained them one at a time learning. Um, and well, that's, that's that the way, way all of them come to my house. Either. I didn't go out and buy them hardly any plants. Um, yeah. They just kind of appear, like when I oh, work. Yeah. People would say, hey, you want this plant? I, I don't know what's yeah. wrong with it. And that and and then it got to be kind of like a standing joke that if you had a plant that was dying, you know, that, that you need to come to my house. <laughs> so here I have a bunch of strips that I've actually clipped together. I'm gonna put that in my rip strip thing and they'll eventually go on a rank. And they are just the off cuts from oh look at that. Those are the off cuts from uh I'm gonna cut that one into a couple tags because they're wide. <laughs> from a uh, large paper for a project. Oh, Julie oh. Parker, that's so sweet. She said if she, if, if, if you live close by, she would let you loose in her bins. Oh, in your paper bins? Oh, gosh. In, in her bins, yes. In her <laughs> bins. Is that not You're the so sweet thing ever? So this is just paper that has some stuff on it. But I actually keep a bin with just whites. And it has like book pages and, you know, things that I can use as a base. And it's all, it's all different shades of white, uh, cream color, you know, old, new, all mixed together. And uh, Lexi, you saw that. I took it to the, to our retreat because, you know, I didn't know if anybody wanted to make some. Oh, I better cut this. 
Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. That is so inspiring. Um, that was Louise Heinzel's uh, oxidization with the um, with the iron that I did there. That was why it looks like it's that. always wise when you're when you're having to be somewhere, you know, like to take care of someone. It's always I always called it a to go bag. Like when our parents were still living, you know, if if I knew that one was not doing well, then I might have to drop everything and go to the hospital. I always had a bag that was ready to go. Um, I do keep anything that too. I would need except for medications and those would, could be picked up on the way out the door. But I had craft stuff in it. I always had, you know, word searches. I mean, something to, to pass the time by. And you, you don't know how much you appreciate things like that until you don't have them. So you guys have seen some of the, some that I have made, cause I made some for um, the hop projects in the past um with you know for i'm sure you've seen them my rainy day box that i take when i go to bill's work um for the day because he lives in another town um things like that but i have many different kinds of you know depending on the project i'm doing things i can just grab and go that are put together because we all have duplicates of things. I mean, why not put that extra pair of tiny scissors in a little sewing box where you can put scrappy flowers and take with you to the hospital or wherever. Yeah. Right. 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 And that's a good one without glue too. Yeah. Um, Evie, Evie, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I am. I used to be highly organized when I worked in my, at my job. But I mean, I don't consider myself to be highly organized, but I did consider that to be a necessity because it was like between my my mom, my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, you know, there was something going on, you know, for about five years, you know, we, we had something going on, you know, just all the time. And you never knew who it was going to be or how long you were going to need to be at the hospital. So it was out of necessity. It was, but, but it was a lifesaver. You know, somebody said, what's the single most important thing you learned? And, and that was one of the things, you know, I learned that, you know, having a go bag for, for those unexpected things. It's just like, you know, if you know you're having a baby, you get that go bag ready. Exactly. It's the same bag. Yeah. Around the house looking for what you need to go to the hospital because you go have it in your bag. You're playing it. It was kind of that way. So I'm just putting all the tissue paper in this for now. And then I have a 12 by 12 bin. Uh, well, I have three of them that has things like this in it. Um, that is thin for decoupage, like tissue paper, stuff like that. These ones are just blank. Uh, I'm trying to figure out about this one. I just keep grabbing little boxes down on my floor here, guys. There's so many. That's Wait, when I'm done I all mushrooms? Did I see mushrooms fly You do. By? I'm actually, yeah. it's a camp. And I'm going oh, to. Oh, I need well, those. I got I'm, for Christmas last year. Well, maybe I'll stamp some out for you and send yeah. them on. Maybe, maybe that would be a good idea. Am I missing <laughs> anything in chat there? You, you know that um, I will be making a journal to take to Scotland um, to be um, auctioned off. Um, I took one last year and, you know, it. everybody was so excited about it. And the person that really, really, really wanted it didn't get it. So Diane. I, I promised them that I will be carrying another one this year. And it will have mushrooms in it. It will have a mushroom theme. Diane, I am, that is terrible. That is a terrible way to hear that. And I'm sure your mother was in shock. I'm sure she had to have been in shock. So I'm just going to throw that on there. Um, that sounds like a terrible way to discover that. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, Diane, I can relate to that because my, my mother-in-law had Alzheimer's. And so when my father-in-law started doing poorly, the, the only thing she needed to do was to call us, you know, if something was wrong and things didn't seem right. And, um, 
there was a it was 15 minutes between our house and theirs on a good day i think i made it in eight minutes one day and god god must have cleared a path is all i can say somebody somebody was looking out for me because um she called and she said he won't wake up and yeah yeah these are terrible situations to find yourself in but you can't always be prepared but you can try there we have it and it still needs inked and i'll trim some more out i like that pattern that's on that the, the it's my gel plate yeah and some chippy paint old paint. i think my gel plate's probably mad at me uh, yeah, I know mine was. That yeah, was sitting yeah, on my plate I really, for a long I've been time. doing it lately. It's probably in the closet saying, mm -hmm. you know, you could take me out of the closet. It, it, it would be okay. <laughs> but I've been I'm sure that's what it's saying. Sun, yeah. so. I'm positive that's exactly what it's saying. Actually, it goes like this. So maybe I just throw some mushrooms up there. Or this girl. Maybe she's already cut out. So maybe she goes the there doing it see and i'm i'm also not fiddling with it for a long time usually i would hem and haw for ages and try to figure out exactly where something goes but i'm making quicker decisions right now because i've been making quick decisions about the sorting so i think that's helping me to do that i'll put that right there so but she was already cut out you can make a quick decision and not it, I'm it not might feel like it's yeah. such a chore that it's like, yeah. Sometimes I just get so precious about things that I end up hoarding them and I cannot make a decision about them. It's not possible. So I end up not doing anything with it. And then I have bins of weird things. As, as you know, um, I'm just going to trim this out and stick it in one of my, either in the small bin, probably the small bin is fine. Um, so I, I'm hearing, I'm hearing a message, Sharon, What's I'm that? reading this chat and I'm hearing the same message. You know, I think everybody has let their gel plates rest for uh, yeah. much too long. Yeah. So I have a plan the for bottle that. And then the, 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 the journal that's coming next, I think that maybe we should definitely, you know, I, yeah, them I had a plan to do that them out by spring. I think we should do a gel printing session for, uh, you know, one of the Saturdays to make some prints to go in our circus journal. And, and it's a, tra I I a traveling agree. show journal. And that being said, um, one thing that I, that I have thought about, um, if you're looking for stencils for, um, you know, the circus theme, it, definitely check out, uh, Miriam's got the, the circus stencil that's in PM Artist Studios um, lineup. And also, I think that um, you might even find a way to use um, the, <laughs> the the nutcrackers that Paula Keen made. Um, I, oh, I mean, I like, yeah. and I thought, you know, you know, this 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 could make some cloud material. Um, Not so that there's a lot of different things that we can do, you know, to kind of uh, support some of our 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 artists, what I call our artists, you know, people that We've, we've watched as they started creating their stencils. So, you know, just think about that. I've actually, uh, I was thinking about Paula's newest ones, which were the Mardi Gras, uh, where they're in kind of Vegas full gear. Uh, she's got like yes. tail feathers. And um, I think that one is perfect. Oh, the Mardi Gras one. The Mardi Gras yes, set. Mardi Gras. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what their formal name is, but. So these stamped yeah. images, I seem to have a lot of them here where I had just stamped out on tissue because I was probably doing something and, or I got a new stamp and wanted to check it out like, like him. So I actually think I'm going to keep these in one of these bins um, because I seem to have a lot of them. I really, really like that. I like that. Yeah. I've been looking for a stamp like, like that for quite a Leonardo. while. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Did you draw it or is no, it? No, it's a stamp. Isn't that cool? Nice. And that can go in my rip strips. Um, I need to Hi, Michelle. 
Hey, Michelle. Michelle we get oh, Samson, we're glad you're here. You're never too late. Hey, Marta. We're always glad to see you. Uh, Marta cut up her gel plate using two five by seven plates. I need another plate. I know I don't use it enough, but the reason why is because when I do, I make three or 400 papers and then I put it away for a while and then I get it back out later, you know, and, and I have that moment in between where I'm using those papers. Yeah. So I, I don't use it very often. Um, but when I do, I use it a lot. So we will have, have a moment like that. Um, hey, that's another thought. With the circus journal coming up, because it is, um, I have some things here that would go with it. Like this is from a 17 magazine from the 1950s. And it looks like, you know, circus strikes almost. Um, maybe I could put a few things in there. The reason I want to do a traveling show, that one can go in there is because I want to do it shaped like a shark, a circus tent, you guys. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> a circus tent, you know, like, so it's, when it's set up, it will stand up like a circus tent. That's uh, okay, Evie. If you, if you don't like circuses, you can focus on the animals oh, yeah. and the clown. And Evie, I'm going to do it like the, did you ever watch Carnival uh, on Showtime years ago? Cause it's right up your alley. I'm going to do a dark sort of a freak show, fortune teller, um, carnival, uh, uh, circus traveling show. And I think you might find those things up your alley. If you give it a little darkness, because I know the kind of things that you make. Oh, Diane, I want a 12 by 14 plate to do that with so bad. I, I want a big plate too, but you know what? Yeah. I I can't justify a big plate when I'm not getting my, my eight by 10 out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe for my birthday. Maybe oh, and he said she will carnival it. Did you ever watch that show? Which one? Carnival. You were talking about that the other day, and I, and yeah. I think I did. I, I, something tells me that I know that show. It's like a 1930s um, uh, car traveling carnival, uh, but it was more the freak show, and it was uh, it was on Showtime, and it was pretty. It was dark. It had some darkness. Um, but I don't like I don't like scary movies or anything. But I I like some dark humor. I like that. Um, and I know that, um, Evie and Trish do a lot of that sort of stuff with their uh, things they make. So that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Trish, I think it's perfect. So Trish, um, my daughter, my, my oldest daughter is, is one of those people that, you know, if a clown come up to her window, she would probably have a heart attack. <laughs> She does not like them, but now Bubble she does like somewhere. things that are dark. So I think that you're going to find think, some things that are dark and, and scary in some of the things that I have pulled into the Pinterest file that um, it, is there for anybody that wants some. I mean, yes. I'm going to pull in this stuff off of public domain. So, so it'll know, be free stuff. You can, you can do what you will with it. Um. I think some of these things are going to go in the carnival uh, or the freak show. I need, I need to start calling it whatever it's going to be called. And I think it's going to be a traveling show. Um, I think that works better. Then you can have snake oil and you can have, you know, all the, all the, everything that goes with it there. And I want it to be extra grungy too. So I, I am going to throw a few of these little things away. Um, that's homemade paper. Ah, I don't know what to do. I, I think it. that's part of the the thing that is oh. so nice about being able to create create together with a yeah. common interest, but not necessarily the same thing. You know, we it, we all can put our own little twist and spin on it, and that way you you see so many different things come out of it, and I love it. I just love it. Yeah, it is so much fun to see how take the same theme or prompt and all the different things that happen. Um, encouraging each other and um, just making it, making it our own 
is, and the therapy that we get from what we do, um, especially with friends. That's, that's so important. These, I was going to do some little accordion books, um, but I haven't done anything with them and it's wallpaper. So I need to find a place for those. And those are going to go in the, I don't know what basket. Can I tell them? Oh, you tell them. Yes. I, 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 I'm going to be doing a thing. And a few of you already know. Um, it's kind of a, outside of my, my comfort zone a little bit. But, you know, I've always had the YouTube channel available but i've never used it to to post any content so um i have decided and follow i'm following my heart and where i think you know karma is taking me and i am going to be um putting out a little bit of content and if you if you want to look it up and you know if you want to see my introduction it is up now and it's called making it with minglet um and it, it is kind of a journey in itself um you may be making art with me you may be just making it from one day to the next so um you know i, I appreciate it if you just stop and look if it's not your thing that's fine if it if, if you think that and there might be short little things that's, that's go ahead and out. um yeah you know Hit that bell and, you know, you, you'll, you'll see when I post again. So I'm going to put these things back in this box because this is going to carry over in my general stuff for the carnival or I'm sorry, traveling show. I'm going to have to write it down and put it in front of me because I don't want to confuse anyone. Um, so I will leave this here. Let's you know what, Sharon, you know what I'm thinking of when you say your traveling show? Your little lunch box that you did. Yeah, that's the style. That's, that's absolutely the style, the style. Yeah, I'm feeling it. To it and really super grungy, extra grungy. And here I have this tag punch. And if you don't have one of these, I have to. I have an old lunch box that was Bill's. Matter of fact, he he said he thinks that he may have had that in first or second grade, and it was like a travel. It had travel stuff on it. I'll have to make a picture of it and post it on Facebook. It is adorable. But it's in my craft room. He gave it to me. Oh, he that's said, cute. He said I could have it because he could Throwing not see away. the need that he would have for it. Where are the other so I'm ones excited. Are? So this is a tag punch. I recommend them uh, because you can take these little extra pieces that you like. Like this is watercolor paper and... Um, I think it was the new sprinkles that I got, the new stuff I got for Christmas, the flat stuff. I think that's what that is. Pretty sure. But I, I mean, now I have these little tags, just, you know, put them all together in something, or you can put them with tags and tabs together. Um, there's some strips to go in my strip bucket, which is an old uh, gold bread pan. It's an antique. I love it. Uh, and this is out of an old book that, and I'm just going to put these back in this box because this is the one that has the, that can go in the trash. Watch your ears. I got a tear paper. Pieces that I'll be getting into for the next project. That is a tea bag. I'm going to throw that in there because that's a, I don't know what yet. Strip box. Uh, and you know. This can go in here because bubbles Ooh, go. Oh, bees work some butterflies. I like that. That sounds like a nice spring theme. So I'm going to put those in there. So this is going to go off to my side and I'll be adding things to that. And and my dear friend, Evie, um, when you watch, if you watch my introduction video, you will so get it. You will understand. Because we are the same in many ways. I think we're all struggling right now. And anything we can do to make it at this point, you know, we need each other. We lean on each other. And I think it's wonderful. This is so beautiful. I'm going to put it in, in the folder for the collage when I'm done. 
I'll probably, I won't put too much in this folder, by the way. I'm just going to put enough in here and try to use it all. So I don't have more sort, stuff to sort at the end. And I love bits like this, but I can get more. So I'm throwing it away. Oh my gosh, look guys. An, an empty box, almost. It's got, you know. Diane, that's, I'm sentimental. I mean, I, if I can put a piece of somebody, you know, something that reminds me of someone in my art, it means so much more to me. And, you know, I feel like it's kind of a way of honoring them and, and their things, you know, rather than just saying, okay, well, you know, this doesn't really fit with my lifestyle, but, you know, I'm going to toss it. But no, I can't, I, I, I can't be that way. You know, I have to... Uh, I have to give it meaning. I have to find a way to make it have meaning. So this will go with my new, uh, the circus journal, the animal spots. Oh, I um, like that. Or the traveling show or whatever. I think that's a great idea. This probably not, unless I grab oh, stuff, but I'm going to throw those in Sharon, there. Sharon, remind me to send you part of a scarf because it'll be perfect to go with that. Okay. This is I've had on my desk for ages and ages because I glued all those pieces together to make some little swivels and or tags and I'm throwing it away because I have a whole pad of this paper and I don't know why I still have this guys not sure so it's going how's that oh that was tough that was so hard that was so hard <laughs> I think um I'm really lucky to have all of you guys. Um, maybe we should really you know, do a play date what, sometime. I or maybe I should just drive down there. Maybe I should just drive your way. There you go. It's not like I could. Hey, you know no. what? We need to Same talk thing. because this week after Wednesday, um, I'm home alone. <laughs> That's right. We're going to have some During play the day dates. Time, I could definitely make a day trip. That's a beautiful piece. That's it looks like lights. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the in the in my general scrap box that I can dig in when we do the circus, and or the oh my gosh, I'm gonna write it down. I swear, traveling show. Um, these are actually Japanese. Uh, it's like a little Japanese um, poems in here or little sayings. We're gonna put on our bookie shoes and do our traveling show. Yeah, the, the, the traveling show. That's right. So I'm gonna put those in my white bin. I guess. I guess, I guess I'm not gonna not gonna save those ones. So eventually, this goes in. Now I have a few of these stacked up, and I will need to sort through this one too. But um, these kind of things go in here, and I usually have different sizes spread out, and it's one of those wood bins show you real quick here and this will sit on top of my cart so it's a wood bin with the you know a little thumb hole here and this is in the same box and all i do is i have like three different sizes usually but i used these bins when when we did the last project so um i do need to you know go back through it and that's fine but that's a start Yes, Uda. Some, there's something healing about, um, you know, trying to make a place for those memories. You know, it's, it's yeah. important to acknowledge loss. As hard oh as it gosh. is, it, it's important to acknowledge it. I'm so sentimental about things. Ugh. I was like sorting through something the other day and I found a just an envelope that Judy P had sent me some... Um, Sent me some you happy cried? mail in. I cried. I cried. Yeah, I did. I cried. I cried. I held it to my chest. I put my hand in it thinking hers was in there, you know, sort of making sure there was nothing left in there. And then realizing that, you know, that was the envelope she spit on. And uh, it was hard. You know, I don't know, it, it I don't know why I had a breakdown, <laughs> but I did, you know. <laughs> it was tough. That's all. This goes in here. Oh, Diane, that's cool. The steam, but your steampunk stuff is amazing. I mean, I, I have never made a steampunk piece, but if I did, you'd be the person that I'd call, call a friend to help. I'm telling you. That is the style I want to do my journal in. Sort of steampunk. Um, with that 
Victorian grungy sort of um did you um feeling. yes i still did have you three see, more um fran on sunday's live stream when they did the interview who, who saw fran she had on steampunk it was so cute she said there's like a steampunk oh yeah party. yeah was really fran's cool. always done steampunk okay so i'm gonna put this in here so i have two bags of these and these ones are gonna go in a tray and i will put them i have the the metal cabinet that's got all the that's little funny, drawers Uta, it. I, I let mine wear the holy shirt as long as you don't leave the house we're good <laughs> it's like some of them are older than our children so i could probably use that this is a piece out of a book off of a it's like the top of a doorway or a frame or something in a castle it's like a photograph or a piece of furniture i don't remember what it was from and i used the rest of the picture and saved this and it's got a lion on it so that is definitely going in the circus bin but because it's so specific this one and i know i definitely want to use it i'm going to put those in here in the black one so so okay evie so is this embroidered handkerchief so she sent you one did, did she send you a, a plain one for you to embroider or did she send you one that had already been embroidered for you to include in your art? Was it a, uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, Eddie, she looked adorable. She did. She looked totally adorable. She was rocking out the, the steampunk for sure. Texture. Maybe I should go through here and pull out my weird. Texture. I can see my mom doing that. That's fabric. <laughs> we, uh, my mother was shared a birthday with Elvis Presley. So she was always like this big Elvis fan. And when she turned 80, Definitely. I had a friend who was the game for about any, I mean, you know, he was always such a good sport. He would do whatever. I rented a, um, Elvis Presley costume and he dressed up and he went to to the facility that she was living in and started singing to her and I thought my mother's heart was going to melt. She was sitting there with her little tiara on celebrating her birthday and Elvis came to sing. Aww. And she was so cute. But that's kind of what I thought about when I saw Fran. I said, you know, my mom would have so worn steampunk if she'd have known anything about it. She would have loved it. That's cute. I, uh, My dad sang Elvis and he was so good at it. He was so good at it. That was when all the women in the audience stop and, you know, throw their drawers. And I mean, they were all swooning. He was so good at it. Um, he could sing re really well, but Elvis was, that was his voice. There's some embossed pieces. I need to find a place to use. Look at what else was in there. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to set those aside and I'm going to glue those together in a minute. And then I found a I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Eddie, it was a sad things. day in our house uh, when when I heard on the radio that Elvis had died and I had to mm -hmm. go and tell my mother yeah. that Elvis was dead because I thought this is not gonna go well. And she just dropped her head. She says, Oh my goodness, Elvis and his pelvis is gone. <laughs> oh my gosh. So she made well, a that's, joke. That's she how they knew it kind of Elvis. Okay. Elvis. Yeah, you know? <laughs> she was I know that sounds okay. horrible now. You know, people don't say that now. They just say Elvis. Yeah. But back in the day, that was the thing. You know, he, Trim. him and his twirling hip, hips just, you know, those, those girls didn't know nothing like that. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm going to put that in my uh, spot to finish a card because I love it. I think it's gorgeous and um, it's a good base or the back of one. So that's going in and they're standing up in there. I'm just pulling out a few pieces here. That garbage, garbage, piece of fabric. I bet, Evie, John Lennon, huh? That that was the one that did it for you. <laughs> yeah. 
That was, I, I was um, born in 1972, so I was pretty young. I do remember my daddy always singing Elvis, though. So it felt he felt like part of the family, you know, because my dad always had a guitar on his lap. He was always singing. So I just grew up with those sounds. Okay, so I have some other random weird things, and I don't know that they can be sorted out because they're so random and weird. But they can be, like I have these textured alcohol inked pieces. These go in the little texture bin. I know I can do that. So what I'm going to do is just pull out the things I know where they go. And the rest of them I'm going to leave in here. Oh, there's a postage stamp. Um, a DIY postage stamp. Oh, that was a pretty piece. That's like a belly band waiting to go. And I'll put that with the others. Um I do have some strips yes, here. I am. It is sad. It's sad that people that have money still just can't. Garbage. You know, it doesn't buy them happiness in the end. It doesn't buy them happiness. This is fabric. Uh, Skeleton. I am a firm believer that happiness you know, is it, it comes from within. In there. You know, either you're going to be happy or you're not. Oh, die cuts. Um, garbage. I'm making choices. I feel so proud of myself. This is a weird. That's cute. That looks carnival -y. It was. That goes in my texture bin, though. So, and I'll always have that a little texture bin out. Plus, I have my cart that's got the bigger pieces. So it kind of works. Um, this is definitely carnival -y and will get used. This is die cut that I had used and made a video with and did some yes, stencils. Yes, it does matter. It does matter what type of people you surround yourself with. Your vibe attracts your tribe. And how often do we say that, Lisa, when we're we, talking we to each other? We say that all the time. We Constantly. really do. Constantly. Um, we, and I would like to think that my vibe is excited and slightly loud. I don't want to be this loud. And fun and happy positive but i i do know that if you look around we're surrounded by all the same kind of people and i love it um we've all found each other and it makes my heart happy um it really does i'm gonna put that on my folder that on my folder uh that's wallpaper pieces and i don't know maybe i'll stick them on there another frame does this fit inside no here. yes i forgot to ask you did they get your water fixed yes they did they did oh I, I know they came you. you know it's getting late my time you know and i thought okay i forgot to ask you if they got your water fixed because that's a pain in the behind Oh, Diane, she didn't want to go to the hospital. Um, and she was doing okay. She was kind of in remission for a long time. And they were keeping it at bay. And then she went back in for another scan and discovered that things had just grown. And that was why. She wanted to be at home. She wanted to be with her family. I totally understood it. Um, and, and, Evie, thank you so much. Yes, I feel like we have found our people. And, um, Eddie, I see that you commented on that too. And I, it's just, um, it's so important to have people in our lives that lift us up and make us feel happy and better about ourselves. And, you know, and, you know, I'm all about the art therapy that we get when we hang out together and doing things intuitively so we can find that peace because that's where it's at, you know? So I'm just throw away, make a tag. It's small enough. If I can get it in here, I can't. I'll lose it. All right. Well, we I'm do have a nice tribe. We we, we definitely do. have a nice tribe, and it's growing. And I'm yes. glad to see that it is growing. And yes, it is a wonderful you know, tribe. I, I'm also glad to see that people are or helping take care of each other, you know, and, and yeah. try, you know, I, I really believe that you, you, you rise by lifting others, you know, it's not. Absolutely. 
it's not what you're doing for you know it's, it's all about you it's it's about you know being part of of other people as well okay and then i have these little kind of tags too and that's just a punch and that's alcohol ink paper so it's another way you can use those little scraps that you have left over you like that little corner or all that gold or whatever it is that you like you can just use a punch and make a little dangle out of it, you know, and I'm going to add this one to here, even though it's square, because it's kind of the same idea and it's about roughly the same size. I don't have a lot of those. So Sharon, how does it make you feel to know that, that, that our tribe are sometimes the only adults that people talk to in a day? Our tribe. Do you guys know that you all are the only adults I talk to in a day? Well, my, my husband, but he's very quiet and he's at work often. So, you know, and I like to surround myself with interesting people that have the same, the same likes, even though we all might have different styles. I think that's, that's great though. Um, those are, you guys are my friends. And I, even though we've never met in person, I feel like you all are, my friends you know so i'm just gonna have this little box of whites here we're getting down to it i've got the last two bins you know um, what diane i i hope that you find somebody that that you can teach that that you can say hey you know i'm here and i've got this stuff and i would love you know to 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 let you be part of you know what i do just come hang out with me yeah, we saw in our local library they have little groups that do different things, and there there's actually one that there's a washi washi group, a washi tape group. Really? And all you have to do is show up. You have to sign up and show up. It costs nothing, and huh. there's people that teach you how to, how to do different crafts. So, you know, it's, I hope that when you move to your new place, that will be the case for you. You know, when I moved here. Um... I, that's when I got sick and I didn't go back to work and uh, I don't know a soul here. I, I have you guys. That's it. <laughs> I don't know a soul here, but I also haven't gone out of my way to get to know anyone here. And I know that sounds terrible, but um, I, I don't need to. I have you guys. So just so you know that. Thank you. Sarah's daughter's a chatterbox too. And a delight, but with limited interests. Yeah, my daughter doesn't really have any. I, I've never met a person without a hobby. It's my daughter. One what, what thing that's kind of nice, though, you know, <laughs> even if you move or you change towns or whatever, you know, your internet friends are still there. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, that's not that going anywhere. Good. Yeah. That, that's that the thing good. that's kind of cool. So you I'm going to have to give them up. Way. Keeping those because they're, they're right where you left them. Textured. That goes in there. That's interesting. That's a texture. This is um, textured and and uh, inked or sprayed um, vellum. And I love the way it peels. That goes, did I show you guys where I put these girls? I have this bin, this bin. It's just a regular A5. And I have focal points in here. You know, little things from magazines like girls girls that I'd like to use, things like that. It's mostly, mostly girls or gentlemen in handlebar mustaches and stuff, but that's where those go. I can't believe I'm almost through these. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> There's some whitey pieces. And thank you. If I had grandchildren, I'd steal them too. Mine are so far away. It makes me sad. My son is in garbage. I'm throwing stuff away. Uh, carnival or traveling Someday, show. If it's meant to be, they'll be grandchildren. If, if it's not, then then I'll just borrow other people's. Yeah. My son lives in Olympia, and he'll he would come visit me if he you know he's in he went back into elder care and loves his job. He's so good at it. Um, he's, he's really good with people and he, it's just wonderful when he does that. Um, it's been a long time since he has, but he and his boyfriend, 
I live in Olympia, which is about 30 minutes away. And he's my mini me. I just found out the other day my sister uh, started using the junk journal stuff I gave her like four years ago. And she brought me some cool book pages with some images on them and told me, I said, why do you have these? And she said, because I started using that stuff you gave me. I cannot believe it. My sister's an artist too. She paints. Um, but she started her very first altered book. <laughs> Diane Bell said, back in the 80s, I was part of a stitch and bitch club. We would meet on Thursdays and rotate home. <laughs> stitch and ditch? Bit, yeah, stitch and oh, ditch. Stitch. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what made it even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd That's laugh. Great. I knew you would. That's great. Okay, so I've got these and I've got a box for these over here. Where is it? Can I find it? It's right here. Oh, what time is it? How are we doing? Okay, I want to work on my project now because I yeah, feel like be I... great, Tracy. We, we're, we'll look forward to seeing their work. There's so sweetie. One. Yeah, it will be nice. I, I can't believe that they have their own journals. Coco I know. And, I, I know. And I'm so proud then. of them. All right. So that's all the little bins, I think. It is. I did it. <gasps> I've done it. Okay. I'm going to put this back where it goes because I'm done with it. This goes in the texture stuff. Texture stuff. And then, you know, I have those drawers that Bill uh, did for me. Um, he the put. Uh, well, they're, they're antique drawers out of an old dresser, a couple different old ones, because I've purchased them separately um, or, you know, saved them separately. But they they stand upright and he put little brackets in to slide shelves in. So they each have several shelves or adjustable, some adjustable shelves. So um, these kind of boxes right here also fit on stuff like that. If I if I want them to. So if I'm working with those things with our next project, say I can slide some of those and just change them out for whatever's on the shelf like these. And I tend to save boxes like this. They're just, you know, round is not a handy shape when you're trying to make room because you lose your corners, you know, you'll lose them. So no, no round. Only while I'm working, like this is, you know, sort of while I'm working. So I'm going to put these in here. And yeah, the, yeah, the round as far as storage really causes yeah. problems. You need it uniform, does. uniform things. And then these go in here. I'm gonna dump that out. And this one can go here. Oh, Diane, that's so, uh, you know, you were there for her, a total stranger, and you never know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm missing all this good stuff while I'm sorting. So, um, Sharon, what, what, show me what you've done with the things that you've attached to a um, substrate. Because we're got about 13 minutes left that i attached to a substrate oh so far i have in your process today right so far yeah. i have this that i've you know get gathered and added some stuff to and it's an envelope and i just put that paper bag inside i have this one and it's drying because that was texture paste i put on there i have this one that i had masked out the window um and it matches uh, neither of those will probably go in here though. So we'll see. And I put together this folder right here that I will decorate. I got to get this out of the way because I have wet paste. This folder I've added these little bits to, and I will be layering some of these up and making hard choices about what I save and, you know, what I keep. Um, and that'll go in the folder, but I'm, I'm trying not to put too much in here because I want to not ha have a lot left over. Um, and then I have, there was something else. What was it guys? Oh, this, I, I gathered the bits for because she was in one of those bins and so was that. 
And this is photo paper run through the embossing machine with alcohol ink on it. And it just made a perfect frame. So I will do that and then use these little pieces with it probably. This is textured or, you know, um, I'm not sure where it's going to go. Maybe like, ooh, maybe like that. That's cute. Yes, That's it is. Cute. I like it. Um, and then I have the bins down here where I had started some things to decorate. And those, I have another bin for that these actually go in with, with their other friends. And one that just needs focal points at this stage. And then the texture one actually got a lot to, of, of bits. Um, and then I have the little, the little ones. And these can, I mean, I could technically just put these all in one of those big trays and be done with it, you know, and just to sort into next time I do a project. So maybe I will do keep a small set of these as a layer on the bottom of my cart um, to do that with. So next time I want to put away a project, I can just grab that out and sort into these until I feel like it. So I, oh, thank you, Jamie. I like the choices you have made for yourself. Things that I keep and things that I will save totally the way. Yeah, it is hard. We get precious, don't we? We, we do. So here's, I think we've got yours, right? Um, just, I had this on my desk and you really couldn't see it coming in. My next door neighbor has been, been in my life, my entire life. Um, she was my second grade teacher and lived within walking distance of me. And every time we moved, we were within walking distance of each other. And now she's 80 years old and, and she's like my best friend. But one of her friends made these little silly things and they're made with Chanel wires and there's two of them that I have. And one of them is like me and one's like Sharon, you know, when we're, when we're talking, so we're trying to get let me our, full screen here. Know, decide what we're going to do and things like that. So, you know, this, this is us, you know, when you're not around, this is what we look like. We're Except we need a redhead. Having fun and just chatting and having a good time. <laughs> I think those so, things um, are we're adorable. We're talking about using medicine bags, so um, I just took napkins and things that I had in my little bin that need to be cleaned out, and I've made myself just a little sturdy bag, and that's going to go with me on procedure day Monday when I go with my daughter. And these are the scrap cards that I did. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just some little, you know, things that needed something, but they're not done by no means. But they certainly are something that I can work off of very easily. And then, wow. last of all, I was in the what, what's called the Restore. And that is a, a place in the United States, Habitat, Habitat for Humanity. They help people, um, they help poor people become homeowners. And they have stores where people donate stuff. And I got this pretty cool little uh, outdated day planner from uh, 2020, 2019 and 2020 for 25 cents. But I have um, these specific dimensions on it, the four by five. And that is exactly the size of what Kylie Koo's um, book that she's working on. And she's on her third page. So I've got to get Which caught up. Which I love. I have determined this is going to be the front and this is going to be the back because it's got like a, almost a plastic coating on it. So um, if you haven't watched Kylie, do watch her. Um, that journal she's working on is like one, one page it's a really week. really awesome. So it's yeah. a really easy challenge, but she um, actually used some really cool stuff today. But she's using up her scraps. She's using what she has. So, you know, that's going to be my tribute to her her channel. And we're we're doing really good. So um, if you look, there's our there's our hashtags for the week. First off, and we what's want coming to up? Coco and and Handon, Handon for coming in and hanging out with us. And um, we want to and maybe. You know, just celebrate our junky art books that we did. And we want to start, you know, being ready 
to have some actions, you know, some arty actions coming the next year. And more friend therapy, we'll call. Yes, call definitely friend therapy. And so we have a was play. Play. So, <laughs> you know, if you didn't work along with us, you know, do not feel like you, you, you can't catch up because this is a, um, just a way to try to maybe keep your um, art supplies, you know, more in a streamlined fashion. And your momentum going at the same time. Exactly. Exactly. Rewarding. Yeah. And I am, I am very pleased with how this right here turned out because this was uh, from a project that we had started a while back and I had made somebody a um, ATC card with a frog jumping out of the same cup and my husband you know when i say print this he just goes goes happy so that's what we get <laughs> that's fun my uh my husband by the way has been helping me with my video and i only have left the uh voiceover so watch for that soon that's coming um, and that'll be the game that we're playing this year with Kylie Koo and um, Peg over at Tool Crows Mixed Media. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, so thank you everyone for being here. I know it's a little bit early, but we always yes, say. Yes, it is. But, but do, if you didn't hit the thumbs up, please take just a few moments to hit the thumbs up and let us know yes. you like what we're doing. And if you have not subscribed to Sharon's channel please do i mean she she really puts her heart in it and she's putting you know some Aww. great things together for us to do so um do, do like share subscribe we we appreciate it and we're grateful for you being present yes and i don't think i said that even once during this whole stream so shame on me and i'm so sorry <laughs> you I, I, I need a spiel guys i need one well, thank you for each and every one of you. And I hope that this gave you some inspiration to sort some of those bins out and have fun while you do it. And I will talk to you all very soon. Watch for a video coming up. Bye, <laughs> Bye everybody. Thank you.